Hey guys, John and Haddock here, joined by your boy Wayne Bethay. Today they we're going to be talking about X Force Four. Uh, was this fourteen part? Ooh. Seventeen of twenty-two of the Ten of Swords. Almost done. Yeah. Almost next week. Bah! Rap. Yeah, I guess it. Is. I guess it is. That's the yeah. end of it. Huh. Love it. Kind of flew by pretty fast. Yeah, you know, great storyline. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I like this book overall. We see Magic beating up the giant toad guy, Prog, yes. Grog, whatever his dumbass name was. Found out that the jump is actually a sword. His his actual... Yeah. The, the, He's like a Russian doll. Yeah. You know, he keep, you know. He's just, um, you had him. We got to see Storm. I think Storm was the biggest takeaway in this issue for me. Yes. I was happy to see her... Not able to use her powers, but use the martial arts and the fighting techniques that she has grown to adapt during her run with the X Men and in Wakanda. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. She, she beats death and then she feeds them to vampires, which I thought was pretty cool. Wait a minute, that was perfect. I love that, yo. Just just bust them. I like how she uses the sword to reflect his gaze to stun him. So she can get the upper hand and stab me Yeah. That was move. That was move. That was cool. So, I mean, overall, I mean, X-Men 14, I mean, X-Force 14, it, it flows pretty good. I mean, the only thing I just, I have a hard time caring about, and it's probably because I'm not reading it, is the stuff with Captain Avalon. Like, I haven't been reading X, uh, Excalibur. Yeah. And I've, I never really got into the original Excalibur. So, like, Captain Britain and that whole Saturday universe I stuff. loves him. I'm just... And it's and it's always been quirky. So yeah. that's the thing about Excalibur and what I really like because what Hickman and the team have done is take that quirkiness and make it a little bit more harder, more solid, and actually more gritty. Like it's not like the Excalibur of old was actually based toward Young adults, yeah. kids. It, it it was it was you could see that it was in the writing. Now it's for a more mature audience. It is. It, this here is 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 more grown up. It's breaking down the characters even more, and it's talking about the serious issues of not just being in other world, but the struggles that go on in other world with the different factions that there are. So I mean, this is this is a a a more elaborate and adult world now for us so yeah i mean x force 14 i think this is a good uh good part in the ten of swords book you get yeah. storm killing a guy you get magic teleporting well actually no she gets swallowed yeah. then she blows the dude up from from the outside she does the whole men in black thing on yeah. him you get the race with uh yeah, that was sick of cap Mavlon or captain britain whatever his name is yeah but you know it it what you like is uh, not just uh, Jim uh, Jim Jaspers uh, playing his role in that court where you know yo if you doing something and you break something in this court you got to pay for it and God knows what the charge gonna be so I mean it I loved it, it yeah. every every part of it was it was, good. A, it was a good read I, I enjoyed having it was a fun read I mean I got a I got a lot out of it. I definitely like the whole Ten of Swords thing so far. Yeah. Um, overall, guys, if you've been reading Ten of Swords, this is a great book. If you're just reading, if you're not reading Ten of Swords, and you're you know reading your. I'm only going to read X Force only this. Yeah, you missed. I'd it. probably skip this because one of the things that they've done with these X Men books is they all follow the same path. Yeah. Even though it's an X Force book, you might have no characters from X Force in yep. it. It's going to follow whatever. The, the storyline. Ten of Swords storyline is, yeah. absolutely. But overall, guys, me and Bethea, we enjoyed this book. We oh, thought yeah. it was really fun to read. We just, we've just we really been uh, excited about the old Ten of Swords. Oh, yeah. Definitely check it out, guys. Fun read. As always, guys, keep reading comics. Give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Well, yeah, I said that. Uh, hit us up okay. in the comment section. Uh, we love having that dialogue back and forth. As always, guys, be safe. Peace.